Well, what's up? It's day seven of the 21 Days of Prayer Challenge. I'm Zach Zender, journeying along with you in these 21 days. Thanks for being here. The big question today is, how can I tell, how can you tell if it's God talking or speaking to you? That's a big question. So in just a moment, we'll dig into that. Hey, if you haven't already, go to prayingchallenge.com and download the free guide that comes along with this because it's not only going to give you the challenge and the prayer prompt, the devotion, but it's going to have companion Bible readings because we want you not only praying, we want you in God's word as well as we give these 21 days to God. And two more weeks, let's get some friends, more friends in this because it's just better when we do it together. All right. So how do you know if it's God speaking to you or not? I remember Allison and I, we bought our first home in St. Louis and all of a sudden in the heat of the summer, when the summer hit, the air conditioner stopped working. And I had heard horror stories of like, oh man, when the air conditioner goes out, it's usually gonna cost you a whole lot of money. Ours wasn't too bad, but it literally took the guy one minute to discern what the problem was. So he was there for one minute and then he came over to us and he said, um, have you guys ever changed one of these before? And I said, what's that? And he said, it's an air filter. And every so often you have to replace these or things will get backed up and the system won't work. And I was thinking, oh, that's really interesting. Nobody had ever taught me about air filters ever in my childhood. Thanks a lot, mom and dad. So I'm having to pay a couple hundred bucks to get through this. And by the way, this devotion today literally reminded me I've got to change mine today. Um, so there you go. I just took it out and changed it. When's the last time, if you get nothing else from today, maybe you should change your air filter. When's the last time you changed it? But I think that this filter idea is a really good thing when it comes not just to our air conditioning, but to the voice of God. Because as a pastor, I can't tell you how many conversations I've been in with people and they'll say something that starts like this. God told me dot, dot, dot. And sometimes the things that come after that God told me, it's like, what? That's not God. I, and I know that, but, but how do you get people to realize it's not, right? And so how do you know if it's God's voice? How, how do you know if it's God speaking to you or maybe it's the enemy speaking to you? Because sometimes you could use a similar language or maybe it's like the bean burrito that you ate for dinner last night that's talking to you. I don't know. But I learned three questions from Church of the Highlands in a message one time from Pastor Chris Hodges that I call the voice of God filter. The voice of God, it's always gonna pass these three tests. Number one, does the Bible agree? Because God's voice will never contradict his word. If you're saying God told me dot, 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 and I don't see that in the Bible and that's anti what the Bible says, sorry, I'm not buying it. Second, does godly counsel agree? Every one of these words is important. Ensure that it's godly counsel, right? If you're discerning whether it's God's voice or not, don't ask someone who's not a follower of Jesus. It's shocking to me when people are in trouble sometimes who they'll go to for advice and for counsel. Crazy. Um, so does godly counsel agree? And then third, do I have peace? Even, even if the decision or the question you're wrestling with is, is going to be hard and difficult and going to take you places or moments that is like, ah, you, you, the Holy Spirit brings peace. God's voice, uh, again, may not always lead you to comfortable places, but he will bring his peace with you wherever you go. And so if it passes all three of those, it could be from God. Now, if you're still not sure, I've got some other really good follow-up questions in the companion guide at prayingchallenge.com. But we want to know, how do we know if God's speaking to me? Does the Bible agree? Does godly counsel agree? Do I have peace? If the answer is yes to all of those, it may just be God. All right, so what's the challenge today? And what is our prayer prompt? Our challenge for today is I want you to take one question that you've really been wrestling with and run it through the voice of God filter. If you wanna do that in the comments below on the YouTube uh, video, go for it. And then today we're also gonna be praying uh, specifically for missions, nonprofits, and local organizations around you that are, that are really helping the cause of Christ in your area. So let's lift those up. You can lift up those, uh, again, which prayer, uh, which organizations are you praying for? Which mission work, which nonprofits? And we'll pray together with you in those requests in the YouTube comments below. Hey, this was a first great week. Good news, we got two more weeks coming. And so again, prayingchallenge.com, download the free guide, invite some friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you back tomorrow for day eight.